What is going on guys? This is Michael from GPRisers.com back here again in the mining bunker. And in today's video, we will be doing a thermal pad swap on our Zotac 3070 Ti. We will of course be using our 20 watt thermal pads uh, to swap out the stock pads on this RTX 3070 Ti. And so on the screen right here, I am going to put the thermals. We did a test for, I wanna say about 10 hours. Uh, you could see here the junction temperature and everything like that. And at the end of this video, uh, we will put the after results of swapping out to the uh, 20 watt thermal pads. And again, if you guys saw the other video, uh, we do have uh, very good results with these so far. And so the 3070 Ti's from the factory, from Zotac, um, have two millimeter on the front and two millimeter thickness on the back plate as well. And these stock pads just do not help. These things thermal throttle like crazy. But so far with my experience, uh, swapping out the thermal pads on this card really does turn it into a great mining card. So again, um, you know, you saw the before and you will see the after. Um, this is going to kind of be a time lapse video of me breaking the card out, swapping out the pads here. So we're going to go ahead and just let some background music play while I'm doing this and we'll be right back.
All right, guys, we are back here. Um, here we have it. The 3070 Ti is all done and repadded. Um, if you did see the, the time lapse that we just did, uh, we were not as um, thorough as we were the first couple times we did this. You can see here that we have some of the thermal pad coming up to the screws. Um, it doesn't look super pretty, but also this is probably about the 10th one that I have done. Um, I've learned that you know you can make it picture perfect um, or you can kind of just do it a little quick kind of like how I just did it and the results are the same. I tend to like to make the pads a little bit bigger on the back here. Um, if you saw during the time lapse there aren't actual memory chips on the back like there are on 3090s. However, um, on these, you just have a little more room to put thermal pads to dissipate heat back onto this back plate here. Uh, on the front of the pads, you want to be a little more precise. It is a little tricky. Um, the 3090 was easier to do. Um, the 3090 for some reason only has two millimeter uh, pads on the back, but it looks like just from uh, looking at this from the outside, uh, the pads are all in the right places. They are a little bit bigger, uh, wider uh, dimension wise than the stock pads are. Um, I like to overshoot rather than undershoot. However, I will get this on the test bench now and do an update on this. I did uh, mess up a couple times with the screws. Um, I have been doing uh, 3090s nonstop uh, and this is slightly different. So uh, it's kind of muscle memory doing the wrong thing on uh, this 3070 Ti card. If you noticed, I did not replace uh, this thermal pad right here. This is for the heat sink. Um, these are not on the memory chips on this card. And the padding overall on the back is not as vital. Again, there's no memory chips on the back here like there are on the front. However, while you already have the, the card taken apart and stuff, might as well swap out the pads. But since they are two different sizes, if you do just want to swap the uh, two millimeter ones in here, you will see a drastic difference just by doing that. However, like I said, since I had the card apart, I decided to go ahead and do the back as well. The 3090, of course, has a ton of memory chips um, and you know tons of thermal throttling issues. And these uh, 20 watt thermal pads that we do have uh, alleviated all the thermal throttling on those. And additionally on the 3070 Ti's, it greatly, greatly decreased the memory junction temperature. So what I'll go ahead and do is throw up another screenshot of the after, um, doing about 10, again, 10 hours of testing on the card. And you guys will be able to see, you know, a, a significant drop. I'm not sure the exact numbers right now, but you'll see a significant drop on the memory temperatures, which again, help drastically with thermal throttling. Uh, these 3070 Ti cards on Ethereum consume about 180 watts. And um, that's currently what I'm mining on them. However, um, if you have more than six of these on a single rig, there's just too much heat going around. Um, we have these 12 card frames in stock and those frames also are just not wide enough to carry 12 of these. Even with six of them, we do experience some thermal throttling. Uh, it kind of depends on the time of day and whatnot. And of course, also the, the model, right? You know, a Zotac is a low end model. These hollow amp editions are a little bit better than say, I, I would say a Trinity model. Um, however, they still suffer from thermal throttling. And these thermal pads that we installed make a huge difference for these cards. We are planning to build a 12 card 3070 Ti rig. Um, again, we are going to have to figure out the case situation. We cannot fit 12 of these in one of the regular 12 GPU frames that we have for sale. And also, even if we can fit them in a larger frame, we are going to experience thermal throttling issues. I'm not gonna ramble too much about that. Um, this specific card is going to go on our test bench. And, um, you know, I really like testing with these uh, 3070 Ti's. They are versatile cards, but they're definitely not um, as profitable. They are light, you know, low hash rate cards, light hash rate cards, whatever you want to call it. However, it's looking like that these cards are pretty good on other algorithms. Specifically, I do believe that these cards are good on the Blake 3 algorithm. That is actually what we are going to be testing this on. Uh, we will be doing Alephia mining on these. Um, I wanted to get the pads changed out and I'm going to test uh, ePash with that because that's really where it tests the memory junction temperature. On Alephium, these cards, you actually underclock the memory and it only is supposed to consume, I wanna say about 140 watts. So I don't even believe we will have thermal throttling issues. However, 
uh, just for the future proof sake, I want to get these 20 watt pads on here. And again, guys, you guys can go ahead and criticize uh, my cutting of these thermal pads. Again, this is, this is uh, one of many that I've done so far in the past week. Um, it really does not matter if it's perfectly straight or anything like that. You don't want to cover other components. However, you know, being a little bit big uh, compared to a little bit short on it is going to be better. I would suggest uh, cutting a tad bigger uh, rather than a tad smaller. If you cut too small, you're going to waste it. Um, but if you cut too big, if it's way too big, you can always cut down a little bit or you can leave the, a little bit extra there. That said, guys, that's gonna be everything uh, for this video. If you like the teardown videos like this style, I know that this is like the first one I'm doing. Um, but I'm doing all my 3090s and everything like that. Uh, if you want to see more of these, let me know. I could probably angle the camera a little bit better so it's I'm not like turning it towards you guys. But um, I wanted to show you guys how to install these 20-watt uh, thermal pads. And besides that, guys, uh, drop a comment down below. You know, do you guys uh, swap these pads on these cars right away? Do you normally let you know hook them up, let them mine? and just you know, worry about swapping them down the line. I know it is winter for the majority of the country, but we are here in sunny South Florida where there is never a winter. So these cards like to get nice and hot. Uh, once April and May hits, uh, you guys up north may want to consider swapping these thermal pads out. Or if you wanna get ahead of the game, and not worry about it when the time comes, you can swap them out now. With the testing that we have done, it is fairly significant, uh, especially on these 3070 Ti's. The 3090's had a junction temperature drop, I wanna say of eight to 10 Celsius, and that is on the Zotac uh, Trinity Editions, and those coolers are just very bad, uh, but we did alleviate any thermal throttling that we have on our six card rigs of those. And with the other models like the Asus Tough and everything like that, we do not currently have thermal throttling issues um, so we are leaving those alone for now until the, the problem does come up. However, um, I am going to continue to swap them out as the, you know, the weeks go. These thermal pads really do increase the life of the card. The lower that these things are operating at, the longer that they're going to last. The lower you're gonna have to put these fan speeds up, the longer the fans are gonna last. Um, overall, you just want a lower operating temperature on these cards. But that said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it there. I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day and we'll see you guys next time.